Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I am making up some easy Weight Watcher friendly cornbread muffins. Now these are really good. They're fairly low in points as far as I'm concerned and they come together in just a few minutes. So I thought I would show you real quick how I make these. So what you're gonna need to make these is first off, you're gonna need a cup of self-rising flour, a cup of cornmeal, a cup of nonfat plain Greek yogurt, a cup of almond milk, I'm using unsweetened vanilla, two eggs, quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce, a half teaspoon baking soda and a half teaspoon salt, and then two tablespoons of granulated sugar. Now you can use a sugar substitute if you want, but I like to use actual regular sugar in this. So that is what you're gonna need. Let me jump in here and show you how easy these come together. First thing you wanna do is get your oven preheating to 375, and then in a medium sized bowl here, I'm gonna take my flour, and again, this is a cup of self-rising flour, and then a cup of cornmeal, my salt and baking soda, and then I'm gonna just stir this together real well. And then once I've got that stirred together, I'm gonna set that aside. In another bowl, or you can do this in a mixer too if you want, I'm gonna add the remaining ingredients. So I'm gonna start with my two tablespoons sugar, my cup of almond milk, cup of Greek yogurt, two eggs, Four cup applesauce, and then I'm gonna just kind of whisk all this together real well. You can also stir however you wanna do it, but a whisk works pretty well. Now that I've got all that combined, I'm gonna slowly just mix in my dry ingredients. Now I'm gonna take a couple of muffin tins, and this is gonna make 16, so I'm using a 12, and then a six that I've got here for the extra four. So I'm gonna line my cupcake pans with these silicone cupcake liners. These work really well, so I like using these. You could also just spray the pan with a uh, nonstick cooking spray if you wanted to. And now I'm gonna take a quarter cup scoop and I'm gonna just fill each one of these with roughly a quarter cup. And again, you should end up with 16. So I'm gonna fill all 16 of these as evenly as I can. All right, I've got all of these filled. And so now I'm gonna bake them in my oven at 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. I let these cook for about 22 minutes and I'm gonna pull them and let them cool a little bit before I break one open. Okay, I've let these cool a little bit, probably not as much as I should, but here they are on a plate, a little close up. These are just three points, which again, I don't think is bad at all for a cornbread muffin. Um, but I'll have my hubby break one open so you can see what they look like inside. Now we usually have these with the, I can't, can you show that on here? I can't believe it's not butter spray. Well that stuff right there, it's no points if you stay with in, I can't remember how many sprays, but that tastes really good on it. They're still hot, hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. They smell good. They, they smell, smell like good. cornbread. Just like cornbread. So that's what they look like inside. I should be a surgeon. You should. You cut my, that. My hands are so stable. Oh. <laughs> it's a little. Can't believe it's not butter spray. Now, see, I really like these. Um, I mean, it's been a long time since I've had cornbread. Mm -hmm. I haven't made cornbread in forever. It's almost like original cornbread's just too, there's too much maybe it's corn flavor. 
don't know. Is it too much cornmeal? That could be. Because it, these, I mean, these are, I mean, honestly, this, this is my favorite cornbread that, that I've, I've made ever so had. far. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. That's real light, Whoop. real subtle. Yeah, and they're, I mean, traditional cornbread, well, it depends on who you ask, but I think is kind of denser. And that's sort of, I don't want to say cake like, but I guess that would almost be a description or bread like, more bread like than cornbread which is more crumbly and dense. Yeah. Show that again. I mean, it's just real. It's real light and fluffy kind yeah. of. We're but, squished together nice. But as far as, so these are three points a piece. Um, if you have two, like he is currently having, it's five points, which again is not bad. I think that's a decent amount of bread for five points. Now these are not sweet, correct? You wouldn't describe them as sweet? No, I mean, you could say they have a sweet element like corn does. Yeah, but, but they're, not, they're not sweet, no. Just a little bit of sweetness from that sugar, I think, in there maybe. Yeah, I mean, if anything, it just brings out the corn flavor. Yeah, so. but we really like these, so I thought I'd just show you real quick how I make them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, as always, for watching, and we will see you on the next one.